going somewhere? Hi, and welcome to Poptography. My name is Patrick, and today we're going behind the scenes another than Shin Hadi number 687. So, this was a Funko Pop that I recently had picked up from Box Lunch, and I really wanted to do some really cool image for it, um, as well as still kind of keep it so that if I had it next to the Morocco image, it would kind of look like they kind of belong as a set. Um, so the first thing is I started with, with the backdrop. So I went to Adobe Stock and found this particular backdrop. And originally I was thinking it might work because I really like the earth tones and then with the greens. But then again, hearkening back to trying to make it like the Morocco image, I remember it had some blues and greens. So I went and changed the image to, again, make it a little more like it's nighttime uh, and then kind of tweak the color to, tone to fit exactly. Then I put Shin Hati on the set and we started with a five light loom cube setup. So the first light that we used was a loom cube, diffused a little globe on it, and that's sitting 45 degrees uh, on the right side, kind of in front of her. Um, as you can see, it's kind of lighting. It's got the catch light in the eye. And the second loom cube we used is diffused with barn doors coming from the back. It's very strong, coming right up, and a lot of highlight and really carving out that detail. Again, situational lighting, kind of selling that situational lighting. For the third loom cube, um, I wanted to get the effect of the lightsaber. So what I did is I had on a snoot coming from a low to high and on an angle, as you can see, it kind of really mimics the angle of the lightsaber coming up um, where it puts the uh, red light on her. So you got it basically on the front and you start to get a little bit on the face as she's holding the lightsaber up. So it really helps sell the situational lighting of the lightsaber itself. My fourth loom cube, what I did is I put another loom cube on that right side. It's on a snoot and then that's coming right across and kind of hitting the side and more accenting as a uh, rim light uh, for Shin. And then the fifth and final loom cube, I just wanted a little bit more light coming down from the top where it hits the side of her hair as well. Um, so we dimmed a loom cube on a boom with a little diffusion and globe on that. So it spreads it out a little bit and we kept that very low just to add a little something, just a little something. Then we brought this image into Photoshop and from there we played with view saturation. And then I uh, tweaked the backdrop a little bit by adding some fog as well. So I grabbed another image, uh, brought it with some uh, blue kind of mist and we drop that in layers, both behind and in front of Shin, to kind of give that fog feeling from that backlight. And it really works well. With the lighting that we did, and the lighting of the backdrop, adding the fog and everything, and having it situational, really kind of helps sell this effect. So that's how we got this image of Shin Hati. So if you like this kind of content, please hit the like, definitely hit the subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of Poptography. Until then, may the force be with you.